welcome to the White Room. My name is Mr. Lucas, and coming up next. Everything from, you know, back in the day has come back around and people from back in the day are like, I had that and you know what I'm saying, so. And then also, it's all, almost like the rebirth of myself as an artist, so it's like, I'm retro, like, yeah, I was back, I was there back in the day and I'm back. Shopping spree is basically about, you know, I'm driving down the road, the car pulls up next to me, nice, pretty young girl in the car, um, sort of winds down her window and it's basically trying to seduce me. And it takes a lot of work and training for me to do that, like jogging and a lot of cardio work and stuff like that. So inside my body, it's like, it feels like a machine. Like, <laughs> Transformer. Like, exactly. <laughs> and then you just stop, you're like, I break. <laughs> Yo, yeah, my name is Byron Gold, and you're watching The White Room. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hi, I'm Kelly LaRock, and you're watching The White Room. I ain't got no story, number still. Ain't gonna rap for you, baby. I don't do well. And I know you've only known me for a short time. Last history. And what it's made up to be, yeah, yeah. Some people spend their time just running away from what's right. And I sure don't wanna run. And I sure don't wanna run from you. Here is what I could do, my love, so good, yeah. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. As you know by now, I'm Mr. Lucas and I'm sitting here with a female who's been gracing your screen for many, many, many of years. She's lovely. She's the one and only Kelly LaRock. How you doing, girl? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. How you been since I last saw you? I've been really, really good. Um, so the video's finished. Um, it's out and about now and... Um, I think it's great. I didn't want to swear there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But people listen, watch it are thinking, what are you talking about? What, what video? video? Exactly, what, what, what video are you talking about? Oh, of the new single Retro, which is out on July 27th. So basically, um, just kind of networking that, you know, been doing a lot of live gigs, showcases, and just kind of pushing that forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the idea of your new single, Retro, how did that come about? Why did you decide to go retro? Um, I think because, I, like you said, I have been in this business for quite a long time. And I thought, you know, what would be a nice track to come back with? And I think something like retro, because obviously, at the moment, fashion is really retro. Mm -hmm. um, everything from, you know, back in the day has come back around. And yeah. people from back in the day are like, I've had that. And you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, yeah. And then also, it's all, almost like the rebirth of myself as an artist. So it's like, I'm retro. Like, yeah, yeah. I, was back, I was there back in the day, back and I'm the back. Day, and now you're back. Yeah, yeah so that but, was the kind of vibe. But, but, but the thing is, you've never really gone anywhere, because my love has just been popping up everywhere from from Inapa to Ibiza to clubs to radios and you've been doing the thing with Basement Jacks you, 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 you've been around so don't say you've been gone you've just been, been laying gone. back in the cut but then that's because you're in the know I think your mainstream commercial sort of like public mm. they think I've been gone yeah, yeah. so um, this is like a reintroduction to those people yeah, to yeah. say hey you you're back and yeah. she's retro and I'm retro <laughs> but then you see it's not only about me being retro everyone's got a little bit of retro in them have I? Of course you have. Where's my retro? I'm working? loving this t-shirt. This is, looks very retro. Money. Money's, money's, money's going and all the way. At, look at your shoes. They're very retro. Plimp soles. How retro are those?
you know the retro days and so on, talking retro. Don't you think a lot of things are coming back these days, like films and, and, and style of music and style of clothes, and it's probably going to fit in nicely with, with the track that you're bringing out. And with the video, I've just had an exclusive look at it. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, and, that's, and that shows a very... Um, ex- uh, not an exclusive, like an old look as well. So people can go, oh, I remember that tracksuit, I remember that style, I remember that. Is that, is that, the, is that what you tr- want to try and grab out the video so people can m- memorise and go back to the days when they were doing this and that? I think as well as the video being nostalgic, I think it also... That's the way I was looking for. Nostalgic, <laughs> as well as the video being nostalgic, I think also even younger people would think, oh, I have that, or I've got an outfit like that, or I've got a chain like that. Or, yeah. So it, it, then you can kind of see where the stuff from yesteryear is actually in the present, you know, and yeah. it's being brought back around again. It's probably, I don't know if it's the second or the third trip around, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. in that respect, it's like a little education. Yeah. So apart from Retro, what is the name of the album? When is it out? And what more have we got to see from you this year? Um, I'm just trying to build up the profile again, you know, so I'm going to be doing an under 18s tour. Um, of when does that begin? Um, that would just be probably just before the single release and just after. Um, so that's what I'm doing really. Just kind of almost like starting from grassroots again, mm. like I'm an unknown artist. Mm. So I'm doing an under 18s tour. Um, I'm doing quite a few big gigs. I'm doing Gay Pride mm. in Trafalgar Square. Um, I'm doing a big gig in Birmingham as well. I can't remember the name of it now, but it's on my Facebook page or on my MySpace or on my website if you want to check it out. Okay. Um, and yeah, just like I said, just kind of starting from grassroots, building up the profile again, and just getting out there. And just, I've been doing a lot of live gigs with full bands and stuff, which has been really cool. Um, they're quite fashionable now. How retro is that? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I'm just out and about, you know, just reacquainting myself with cool, the public. Cool, cool, cool. But it's been fun. Cool. So you mentioned people can check out your MySpace and where you are, so on. Let the camera know what is your MySpace. How can people find out more about you? My MySpace is Kelly LaRock Music. My Facebook is Kelly LaRock, or you can join my fan page. And my website is www.kellylarock.com. I'm going to ask you some quick fire questions now. Don't think about them, just answer them. You prepared? You ready? Cool. Okay. Shoes or trainers? Shoes. Day or night? Night. Any particular reason why? Because. In the midnight hour, that's when all the magic comes alive. <laughs> but you know the freaks come out at night as well. And that too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to go, this is a special one for you, because you, you know, you're retro. Okay. Take you back to your childhood. Play school or Sesame Street? Ooh, I think Sesame Street. Why is that? I like the singing and the songs, like... <laughs> I love that as well. Yeah. Okay, and the last question is, when was the last time you went to the cinema and what did you see? I went to see Star Trek and that was about two weeks ago and it was off the chain. Good film, recommend? It was excellent, I would recommend it. I am a bit of a Trekkie, but I went with a non-Trekkie and the non-Trekkie really enjoyed it too. It was action-packed, there was a little bit of love in there. It was, you know, it made Okay, we're not asking for a film review, oh. this is an interview. <laughs> okay, and uh, let me take you back again. What was the first ever film you saw in the cinema? If you can remember. Oh, wow. No, I remember the first ever record I bought though. That's not the question, that's for someone else. <laughs> Maybe next time. Mr. Lucas, Kelly, peace. Hey! Yeah, well, Exile Man here, and you're watching The White Room. This is Amber Melody, smoking dro in The White Room. It's Bangs and Mash, and you're watching The White Room. Yo, what's going on people? This is Hainzy and this is my single, Falling Alone.
We've got some great videos this week. Let's check them out. Most the sexiest of men in the world. Anybody know? Ask anyone. Hey, welcome to the White Room. Hi, I'm Kason. This is a snippet of uh, my debut single called Shopping Spree. How you doing, brother? Yo, I'm not, I'm not bad. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. Yeah. Since I last saw you in 2005, what have you been doing? Um, I've been doing a lot of recording, um, a lot of collabs with um, like rappers, other singers, etc. Just trying to get my stuff together. I'm trying to get a solid album, um, which I'm due to release next year. How long has the process been of making the album that you're going to be bringing? It? Um, the writing process has been sort of over the last 10 years I've been writing. That's like a Bible of, 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 of emotion yeah. that's going to be on the album. Basically recording as much as possible and then getting in the studio and then out of those sort of tracks you take out the best ones and then try and get a solid album. So I actually started recording the album sort of September last year. Um, so far I've got three solid tracks that are definitely going on there. Um, the first one being Shopping Spree which is my debut single, um, it's due out sort of July, August time. So that's your focus at the moment, shopping spree? Yes, that's the main, um, the main project I'm working on at the moment, um, trying to get the video done as well. Yeah. So tell me about a little, a little bit about shopping sprees, like what, Friday night when you go and do your shopping, go to Sainsbury's and buy like bread and, tell me, tell me about it. Okay, um, shopping spree is basically about, you know, I'm driving down the road, car pulls up next to me, nice, pretty young girl in the car, um, sort of winds down her window and is basically trying to seduce me into, you know, coming with her and taking her, taking her on, a, on a shopping spree. Um, Hold on. So you're in the traffic lights and a girl winds down her window and says, take me to shopping spree. Damn, she's a very, very demanding woman. Yeah. So um, she wants me to, to take her on a shopping spree. I've got a woman and it's sort of a, um, a battle of um, sort of you know, should I go, should I not? I've got a go, sort of conflict, conflict in your mind, yeah. So you're wondering whether to take out the girl who, who, who wind down a window and said, spend some money on me, or stay with your girl, basically? Mm, there really isn't really any um, debate about it. I'm staying with my girl, <laughs> but I'm sort of saying to her, you want a shopping spree, but I really can't do that because that would be cheating sort of thing. So that's the, that's the whole gist of the song. It's uh, sort of a message song, um, which tells of um, sort of sticking your ground and not being seduced by, you know, they say not all that glitters is gold. So it's, it's sort of along that kind of gist. So is it going to be a video out and so on? Yes, um, shooting a video. Hopefully the tune will be out. Um, MTV, Channel U, everywhere, internet. Um, the track should be out on iTunes, Amazon. So look out. So, so Shopping Spree is going to be the first single from the album called? The album is called Case Onology. Okay. Um, obviously, ology, for those that don't, me, don't know, means the study of. 
So it's basically um, an introduction of myself to the world and it's called Caseology, the study of Kason. You've been locked down in the dungeon working on this album, the 10 year wait album, <laughs> doing your thing. So is it going to be like, so you've just locked off from all gigs and so on now, haven't you? It's just purely locked away on this album, right? Yeah, I've been doing the odd gig here and there, but I'd rather, you know, lock myself away, come out of a solid album, and then from there, it will make the sort of selling process a bit easier. So how would you personally describe your, your style? Who inspires you? My style comes from all over. Um, I was originally born in Ghana, so there's a bit of West African influence in there. Um, I also like my soul, r and I'm often compared to like Donnell Jones or Craig David, people say I apparently sound like. Um, so Donnell David or Craig Jones. Or Craig Jones, yeah, that's a good one. So um, yeah, influence is really coming from all over. And you personally, who, who, who do you personally like? I mean, artists that I generally tend to listen to, there's um, a gospel singer called Daryl Coley. I um, listen to a lot of him. I do listen to a lot of Donnell, um, Donnell Jones as well. Um, music Soul Child. Um, just artists of that caliber. Yeah, yeah. And if you could, if you could work with anyone, see like the album's near its end, and they said, "Well, look, you know, you can have Case, and you can have anybody on it, anybody in the world to finish off your album. Who would you have?" Ooh, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. It's too many. Neo's kind of doing his thing at the moment with the whole songwriting aspect. Um, so I wouldn't mind a little Neo collabo on there. That should be interesting. <laughs> You want to let them know your MySpace? The website is www.caseonology.com. Um, Caseonology is spelled K-S-O-N-O-L-O-G-Y.com. You can check me out on MySpace. Just type in the search bar, Kason, K-apostrophe-S-O-N, and hopefully you should find me there as well. There you go. You'll find him. You'll find him. And you'll hear his, I keep saying it, his, his 10 year in the making album. It's like he's building a Death Star up in here but it's just it's, it's just it's just gonna be a great album yeah, exactly there's gonna be a lot of pressure yeah, sure. be, as soon as it's done call me and let me know yeah let me know but i want to hear this because it's, this is the ben her of albums anyway mr lucas Kaysen, peace this is one of our songs and it's called our love. I love you boo, you love me too, so why do we argue? I try my best to pass your test, but it don't seem good enough. Why do I try my hardest sometimes to impress you? Maybe I'm falling out of love. Ooh, I swear this is just getting too hard. Ooh, but you ain't making things easier I'm building it, you're breaking it Destroying it for our love Just have some faith, hold it Put it into our love I'm building it, you're breaking it Destroying it for our love For our love, for our love For our love, for our love And if you want to be featured on the White Room in the future, check out the details on the screen now. Hi, my name is Gift, and I'm going to perform for you a quick a cappella of Fresh Air. Before I met you, I was beyond repair You came into my life and you took me there The things you do were magical, I swear It's crystal clear to see you like a breath of fresh air Air, 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 air. Like a breath of fresh air Air, 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 air. JJTV, check it out 
Hey, 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 yes, I'm Mr. Lucas, as you know, and I'm still on the sofa, and now we've got an orange cushion with us. So comfortable. Yeah. And, and it, it's yeah. Keeping me going. Very, very. <laughs> <laughs> and behind the orange cushion is a gift. And her name is Gift. What coincidence? How you doing, hun? You're right? I know. How you doing, hun? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Isn't the weather nice? <laughs> the weather was horrible. I mean, hey. it's, it's good that it's hot, but not when it makes you tired, not when it makes you, you know, hungry, not when it makes you eat more than the average. <laughs> okay, so, the, <laughs> so, so the heat makes you eat? No, the heat makes people eat and tired and sleepy. Like, yeah. I'm not yeah. one for, I like actually the cold weather sometimes. It's, it's, as long as the cold don't hit my neck back, I'm fine. <laughs> Look, just look, just sit in the shade and drink Red Bull, and that will and that and that will fight the tiredness I'll and the hot. Into the sun to get the Red Bull in the first place. Oh my God, this girl! I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, hun, you're Miss Energy. You're, you don't even need Red Bull. You got so much energy in you. I saw your performance the other day. You was all singing, all dancing, all routine, all get up and go with your with your nice hot pants and your and your high heels, doing your thing. I was feeling it. How do you feel the stage performances go for you? Um. For me, it's different from how you guys see it, because you guys see it as, oh, wow, effortless, but it takes a lot of work and training for me to do that, like jogging and a lot of cardio work and stuff like that. So inside my body, it's like, it feels like a machine, like... (laughs) Transformer. Exactly. And then you just stop, you go... Yeah. I break. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so that's yeah. what it feels like. But I just kind of just think, okay, just perform my best, try to breathe, try not to pass out, yeah. and then see what the audience. Yeah, yeah. I like the way you said breathe because that's one of your sing. That's your single, isn't it? Yeah, fresh air. I'm featuring on the White Patch produced track. Yeah. Um, that's going to be released by Error Records, but it's kind of being pushed at the minute. So who knows? Like maybe a label could pick it up and it can blow up more. But yeah. so far, there's been great positive feedback from it. You know, because it's funky yeah. house and everyone loves. Funky house. Yeah, they do, they do. They yes, do. indeed. So, so how long has Gift been around? I've been around, um, I was in a group um, before and, you know, you know, to do the whole group mm-hmm. thing and this whole development and um, it seemed like the best thing for me to spread my wings and fly mm-hmm. last year. And so um, I was fortunate that when White Patch kind of called on me, I think late last year, uh, December saying, oh, do you want to come on a song? And co-write with me which we did and um that whole before i met you i was beyond repair and the chorus i wrote that part and then he was like okay so the song now called fresh air and then we just kind of got the track like that and it was cool. pretty quick to do yeah. so simple and yeah fresh air for yeah, fresh air yeah, isn't it yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so 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 you do a bit of house you do a bit of garage you do a bit of r&b garage is not really my thing it's only because this is a white patch track so yeah. it won't really um pour onto the stuff that i right. myself like right. to do it's just a great platform and plus the yeah. track is really really yeah. good yeah. so yeah. but you know it's a great inspiration for things that i want to do down the line anyway so yeah. at least i know okay i can do funky house but maybe i can manipulate it to do something else yeah so you know i'm a funky more funky pop old 80s chick really you definitely are you definitely are so <laughs> 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 i love i love a bit of 80s pop it's all big it's all yeah. big you yeah. like you know janet jackson when control. Did, control. And when she did, um, what's it, Pleasure Principle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot. Yeah, Hot. Yeah, that yeah. was her energetic yeah, moment. When she yeah, doing yeah. the hair. Nasty. Nasty, Nasty boys and all that. And yeah. then um, Black Cat. Yeah. Ah! yeah I know, I know. Look, look. I know the 80s, like the back of my Don't worry about that. It's too hard. Don't, don't <laughs> now back to you, my hand. Back to you. Back to you. Is, is there an album coming out this year? Is there a single? Oh, uh, what people got to look for this oh. year from you? God willing, I will be working on my EP as well, which would be kind of old Madonna stuff, dance, mm. pop stuff. So hopefully people will be able to get a feel for what Gift is about. I can do almost anything, really, but it just depends how it all blends together, isn't mm. it? Like a smoothie. Mm. You know, yeah. you're not going to put something like meat into a fruit smoothie, so it has to all go well. <laughs> no, you're not. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're <laughs> be like, they'd be like, mm, what about corned beef? You know, drink it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not coming around your house for dinner. I know that. I don't cook that. I was an example. <laughs> I know, I know. Mm-hmm. So if people want to check out more of you, where can they see you? What's your MySpace? What's I, your website? If um, you've got one. I haven't got a website yet, but you can come check me out on my MySpace page, www.myspace.com forward slash it's just gift. Meaning it's just me. No one else. Lucas won't be there. It's just me. 
I will now, but we're going to go out and get some fresh air. Yes, indeed. Peace. Peace. We've had a fantastic show, some great acts, some great guests. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week.